Hi, welcome. This is Bibi Lorenzetti. I am a yoga teacher, a birth doula, a postpartum IU doula, and a health coach. If you are new to my channel, feel free to browse around after this. There's all kinds of videos ranging from Ashtanga yoga, talks on anorexia and how to heal through yoga and proper eating, uh, nutrition for baby, labor support techniques, meditations, short practices, um, all kinds of things. So I do welcome you to take a moment and look around. You might find other useful things. Uh, but if you are here because you are experiencing back pain during your pregnancy or for the immediate postpartum, uh, I have a little sequence today for you in the hopes that it might help you to navigate uh, your pregnancy with a little bit more ease. A lot of my birth doula clients have uh, experienced pelvic pain and lower back pain starting the around the last trimester or more towards like the 34th week. Um, so these are great exercises to do at that time, but also to start before just so you begin to create uh, space and engagement in that area. Uh, you will need a few things if you have them available. If not, don't stress. Um, you'll need a birth ball of some sort. Uh, doesn't matter which size, really, but birth ball is always a good tool to have. Also for your your labor, if you're especially if you're planning to labor at home, and it's a great tool to rock your baby to sleep later on um, and do exercise. A block or some sort of tall book, and then two pillows or a bolster if you have a bolster. We're going to begin by just breathing, and it's an unengaged breathing, just allowing it to happen as it wants, right, in and out, through the nose. If you're not able to breathe out through the nose, once we go into more supine um, variations of, of postures, feel free to breathe out through the mouth. But I do want you to take into consideration your baby as you move, right? So it's not just you moving, but you're moving in conjunction with baby. So as you breathe to see if you can begin that connection, right? Which I'm sure that you've already established in the day to day, but see if you can use this time to really connect and, and move uh, for them as well, right? So that if there's anything that feels uncomfortable or not right, don't do it, right? Adjust or, or skip it, whatever suits your needs. This is your body, this is your journey, and these are just tools that help you if, if it feels right. Okay, so we're going to begin sitting in a comfortable position. If, if you're uncomfortable sitting like this, you can always prop yourself up on a bolster or on a block so that the knees are a little bit um, at an angle, tilting downwards from uh, from the hips. And just allow your hands to rest on your knees or at the base of your belly or on top of the belly, depending on how big your belly is right now. And just sit comfortably, notice your shoulders relax downwards. If there's tension in your jaw, you can move the jaw from side to side, right, like this, or you can move it around. And just take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, let it spill out through your mouth. And again, inhale, deep, full breath in. Exhale, release it out through the mouth for now, just releasing tension. Notice your shoulders, your hips, your knees melt downwards. Two more just like that, inhaling deeply through the nose. Exhaling, releasing through the mouth, letting go of tension in the body. One more inhale, deep, long breath in. Exhaling, releasing it through the mouth. And you might hear my own baby who's now 10 months uh, downstairs. So this is just all part of one. <laughs> okay, so from here, um, begin shifting the breath to just the nose, in and out through the nose, if that is comfortable for you. We're going to drop the chin to the chest. Inhale, roll the head to the right, head back, and over to the left. And really be aware of chin to chest or sternum, ear to shoulder, chin towards ceiling, ear to shoulder, chin back down to sternum. One more time, inhaling, really connecting to the movement. You can close the eyes to connect. And then stop in the center, go the other direction. So inhaling to the left, head back and over to the right. Head down and then over again to the left. Back and over to the right. <clears throat> One more time, inhaling. 
and exhaling. And stopping in the middle, lift the head up. We're gonna take the hands, interlace the fingers in front of your face, flip your palms forward. Inhale, reach your arms up, stretch your waist, and you can even look up if that's comfortable. And then exhale as you bring your palms forward, round your back, your upper back, and let your chin come down. And then again, inhale, stretching up, lifting out of your hips. Exhale, rounding the upper back, keeping the lower back steady. steady. Inhale, reaching up. Lengthen and exhale, round, slight tuck of the upper back. And then inhale, reaching up. And as you exhale, we're going to do a gentle twist to your right. So your left hand goes to your right knee. The right hand goes behind you, turn back, breathing in, breathing out one. Feel really steady in your seat, right? Inhale, exhale, two, nice, long, relaxing breath. Thinking of the baby breathing with you. Inhale. Exhale. Breathing in. Breathing out. And as you breathe, think about bringing circulation to your back, right? So the deeper the breath, the more circulation we're bringing to the areas that are restricted. And inhale, reach your arms up by your ears, come to center, and exhale, twisting over to the left, placing the right hand on your left knee left hand behind you, and then twist back. And you can twist the eyes back, right? That relaxes the nervous system, allows you to tap into the parasympathetic, which sometimes back pain is also due to an overriding of your sympathetic drive, right? So you wanna try to really breathe down and use what you can to relax from the inside out. Two more breaths, inhaling, exhaling, Last one, inhale, and exhale. Good, inhale the arms up through center, stretch, and exhale, release the arms by your sides. Okay, we're gonna come off of your seat onto an all fours position. You can put your bolster away for now. And once you're in all fours, you can have your feet flat on the floor, spread your fingers so the wrists are underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. And inhale, arch the back and look up. And exhale, round and tuck to the extent that feels fine, right? So you might not have it in not in as much mobility as I obviously have right now. Inhale, arch the back and look up. Exhale, round and tuck to your ability. Inhaling, arch and look up. And you can close the eyes and connect to the flow of the movement with the breath. Exhaling, tuck. But try to mobilize your, um, your lower back, right? So when you're tucking, even though you might not be tucking as much, you want to think of your tailbone, so the very last, your, your sacrum, lengthening down a little bit because that will give a release to your lower back. Inhaling, arch and look up. And exhale, rounding and tucking okay inhale last one lifting and arching look up and exhale round tuck and take a pause here see if you can find the most try to find the most mobility in your lower back right so you may you might be here you want to keep reaching down with your tailbone down 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 and forward so you create that space take a breath in and a breath out and again, breath in. And this is safe for your belly and your baby because the baby's weight is downward. So this also releases your pelvic muscles. So if you're feeling that pelvic um, ligament pain, this is a great place to be. Giving a release to all of that by allowing the weight of the baby to follow gravity. Okay, one more breath in. And exhale, come into a neutral spine. Okay, we're gonna open the knees out to the sides, the feet are together, and we're gonna sit the hips back to the heels. So if you are very pregnant right now, there's a few options that you can have. You can take your ball, right, and do child's pose on the ball right here, hugging the ball and resting your arms on it, right? That of course doesn't give the, um, the downwards release away from your lower back. So, if you are able to, and if you have some sort of pillow or bolster, sorry, props are gonna be showing their personality here on this video, you can take um, the bolster and you can, you can 
can do it this way, or you can hang over it this way, whatever feels better. You know, hold turn to one side and then scoop it to the other side. But you want the legs to be wide enough that your belly can hang between the sides. And if it's hard for you to be in this position because of your legs, you can always also take a block and prop it to the height that's needed underneath your butt. Right, so again, this is allowing for the baby to move out of the pelvic bowl and a little bit forward towards the sternum. You might feel a little bit of discomfort there, but just breathe. Right? If it's very uncomfortable, then you come off and adjust the angle as needed. So right now, because it's a block, my hips are not elevated, which is good for your pelvis, right? And for the lower back. Um, but you might have a little bit of an arch in the lower back. Maybe. If that is the case, you can play around with bringing the butt back down, which this is more of a relief in the very lowest back. So as I'm talking, you continue to focus on your breathing. Right? And on and pause. You can turn the head to the other side. And again, just really focus on breathing down into the pelvis, trying to relax the back muscles as you breathe. You should feel a little space there. And let the breath extend on both ends. So the inhale is longer, the exhale is longer. And notice also if there's tension accumulating in your shoulders or in your jaw and try to release that. These are all great exercises to practice now because you will need to do that when you're birthing. Because right, tension only brings more pain. So we want to try to be fluid and relaxed. Okay, two more breaths here. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Okay, and slowly make your way out of this. You can remove your bolsters. Okay, from here we're going to take the hands forward and you can either stay on all fours or lift your hips into downward facing dog with your feet wide apart and just taking five breaths here. One, inhale, letting the belly hang downwards. Two, inhale, feel the pelvic floor breathing. Three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale. Exhale, five. Now we're going to inhale, take the feet forward to the sides of your hands. So you're, the feet are about as wide as the mat. And we're going to squat down. So you can use a block to sit your hips on, or you can squat down regularly, depending on your flexibility. So you can turn the toes out, heels in, and then exhale, slowly squat down. So if you're on a <clears throat> block, you'll be nice and propped up. It should feel pretty easy. If you're not on a block, you come down and you hold your weight. Now, squatting is the best position that you can do in the last trimester, right? To get those hips nice and supple, to get your pelvis to expand. And you can breathe down. So the weight is now down. But because we're opening, right, the back of the pelvis, <clears throat> the back, the SI joint gets a, a, a release. So breathing here, one, and lengthen through the crown of your head. Inhale. You can close the eyes if you'd like to move inwards with the breath. Two, inhale, try to let go of tension. Three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale. And a great variation if you have a partner around, this is good also for labor, you can hold on to your partner's hands and then you can really release the weight back or you could wrap a sheet around something sturdy that's not going to move like a tree or a pole if you have a column in your house or a doorway you can thread it through and just hold and then lean back and so all the weight is being held into your hands and then this really drops because it's not so much your legs that are doing the work but if not just being here right a few more breaths breathing in breathing out breathing in Breathing out, breathing in, and breathing out. Take your hands down, lift your hips up, heel toe your feet to parallel or to a little wider than parallel, and then bending at the knees, slowly rolling up to stand. Take your time. 
And once you get there, we're going to stay with the feet apart. And we're just going to um, do a few arm movements, again, to bring the circulation down. So when you're ready, inhale, reach your arms up overhead. And exhale, just lower your arms down. Really be with the movement. Inhale, the arms up, soothing, nourishing movement. Exhale, lower the arms down. Inhale, the arms up. Really stretch out of your pelvic bowl. Exhale, release the arms down. Two more. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, lower the arms down. One more. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, lower the arms down. This time we're going to inhale the arms up. Exhaling, fold forward. Halfway, put your fingertips on the floor and bend the knees. And here's where you can have a block or two for your hands. We're going to inhale, separate the feet a little wider. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the chest. Hug the belly. Exhale, straighten the legs and round the back. Release ahead. Again, inhale, bend the knees, flatten the back, look forward. Exhale, press into the heels, stretch the legs, release the head down. Two more times. Inhale, flatten the back, look forward. Exhale, pressing into the heels, around slightly, release the head. Inhale, extend, look forward. Exhale, press into the heels, round slightly. And inhale, lift the chest. You're going to keep the right foot where it is. Step the left foot back and take both hands down. You're with the belly on the inside of your thigh, right? And you can stay upright with the hands on the floor or you can fold down, whatever feels right. If you're a little further in your third trimester, you might not feel so good folding down. So this is fine. You're still getting the baby to move down out of the pelvic bowl. Breathing in, breathing out. Just five breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Strong in your shoulders, three. If you're down here, then you can relax the shoulders and you can relax the neck. Three. Inhale. The feet are hip width distance apart, right? Four. Learn on a straight line. Inhale. Exhale. Five. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, step your uh, back foot forward. And then as you inhale, step your right foot back. Again, the feet are hip width distance apart. And you can stay upright or you can fold into your legs. Whatever feels right for your belly, wherever you are in the journey. Breathing one. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Either way, you're getting the benefits of the back. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Inhale, exhale, five, inhale, lift the chest, exhale, step the foot forward and fold, head down. Good, inhale, lift the chest and exhale, you're going to make your way back into an all fours position and then you're going to swing the feet to the side, come to sit with your legs out in front and we're going to straddle the legs wide apart. And this is where you can take your bolsters or your pillows, either way, this way or this way, whichever feels right. And when you're ready, you're going to walk the forearms forward and you're going to rest the head on the bolster and breathe here. And when you're settled in, allow your body to relax down. So sometimes having the bolster facing parallel to you, you can put your arms on and that kind of gives in. And if the legs like this are too wide, you can bring the legs in a little bit more. It gives a little bit more. There's two different stretches, right? The ones with the legs so wide kind of shortens the distance in the in the back of the pelvis, uh, but bottoms the front of the pelvis. The legs that are a little closer releases, opens the back of the pelvis bone and um, narrows the front. You can kind of play around with that. We're going to be here for a little bit. And you can turn the head halfway through so that you can stretch on both sides. So if you're here because of uh, intense back pain, I would do the leg closer together variation. So play around and see what feels like. Breathing in, breathing out. 
breathing out. Breathing out, releasing tension in the shoulders, releasing tension in the jaw, releasing tension in the jaw. Breathing out. Breathing out, turn the head the other way. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Feel more. Breathing in. Connect with the baby. Breathing out. So the static movement allows for your muscles to relax, right? They don't feel threatened. So when we hold, it's this more yin energy and you, you're grounding, you're releasing, you're restoring. So that's why the holding pattern in some of these postures. And whatever posture resonates with you, you can just keep it. And whenever you're watching something, you can take it out and bust it out. Okay, come up, remove the bolsters. Now we're going to bring the feet together, the knees apart into a diamond shape. So the feet are far from the hips. And here is where you can either have bolsters, again, on your feet, this way or that way. Okay, and you can kind of incline as well, right? Depending, again, on the belly. We're going to do this forward and backward, right? So again, again I'm just widening the lower part, widening your head joint creating space where the lower back rests. So breathing in and breathing out. If you have a hard time relaxing, you can always add music to the background. Close your eyes and really take this time to connect the baby. Once the baby comes, there's going to be less time to do this. <laughs> so, you know, really cherish this time to, to do some self-care. And also going into the sleep you're trying to have, you can turn the head to the other side. An unmedicated birth, you want to be sure that you are giving your body all the chances that it has to relax because you know, the nervous system responds to, to stress. So the more you can create space to de-stress and unwind, uh, the more you'll be able to just be available and to let your body do what it knows how to do. Uh, but you need to be in this calm state. Right, where your body is open and, and knows how to relax if there is even if there is tension and, and pain happening. A few more breaths here. Really feel your breath. Okay, and then we're gonna come up and we're gonna take the bolster. Put it behind you or the pillows and have it right behind the back. You can have one forward, one backwards a little bit if you want to go uh, slowly lifting up. Right? And this is where you can also have a block if you want behind if your torso is really long. Or you can put the block underneath uh, the second pillow if you have two pillows. And then you can slowly make your way back open your arms and then see where you feel comfortable with the legs that might be so far apart they might be here or they might be straight right the farther apart uh, away from the hips they are the more um, the back of the pelvis shortens the front of the pelvis opens right if you're up here everything has more space your SI joint is wide as well but if this is hard you could also prop yourself up with uh, pillows underneath the knees this is really great to widen the the SI joint, lower back, but if not, if you're going to create more tension, the whole idea is to remove tension, so this might feel like it's the right thing to have your legs straight so that your back can really release itself, so it's not about um, fighting the tension or getting the stretch in, but it's really about where can I place my body so that it can give in, so that it can relax. So try to find that place for you, right? And you might do this video a couple of times and each time have a different focus. So if today it's your lower back, 
Maybe tomorrow you want to use it to create opening in your hips if your hips are tight or if your hip flexors are tight. So, you know, you, you can have a different uh, approach each day. But for today, see if you can find a place where your, uh, your back is the most prone to giving in, to relaxing. Right? And so bolsters beneath the knees are really nice. You want to really feel supported and held uh, by the props, by the ground, so that you can be at ease within your body as you navigate this journey of pregnancy into birth. And here you can, if you want, put your hands on the belly and feel the belly move with the breath. Whatever keeps you rooted in the now. Breathing in. Breathing out. Relax the jaw. Relax the shoulders. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, and you could switch between the different legs position as well, but you want to give your body a little time to be settled in one position so that it can really begin to give, right? Breathing in, breathing out. If you feel too much tension in your lower back, you can also put your feet down and then widen uh, the heels, the feet, and bring the knees together. This is a really nice way to create space in the lower uh, back SI joint. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Two more breaths here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. If you want to keep being here, you can pause the video and keep being here. Um, you're going to come up, if not, or whenever you're ready to, remove the block, remove the bolsters. And this is when we're going to take the ball, if you have one. Okay, and we're going to sit. Um, okay, so you have the ball behind you and you're going to sit. This is going to be a little bit harder. Um, you might need a little help. Uh, so you can start from the floor or I might actually have you start. Yeah, let's start here. Sitting up on the ball to the front edge of the ball. And you're going to have your feet far from the ball. And I'll show you the movement before you go into it so you're aware of what we're going into. You're going <clears> to <throat> move, roll the ball, the ball forward. You can hold it here. And then release your vertebras onto the ball until you're laying back on the ball, right? So let me do that again with you. Find a place on the mat where you can have space to roll forward. The feet are far forward and you're rooting the weight down into the ball. The hands are on the sides of the ball or behind you. And then you're going to crawl the feet forward and roll forward with the ball so that your back begins to lay into the ball. And then release your back and head down. And then you're going to roll. You, you have to use your legs here. You're going to roll forward. So it's going to feel like your butt is hanging off the ball. And this gives a really deep release to your lower back. This is as close as you can get to feeling <laughs> weightless in your pelvis. But you really have to have the, the legs hold you. And you can roll back and forth a little bit till you find the right spot. Or to ease your legs if your legs get tired of holding. You can kind of push back, get a nice stretch, and then push back down. We're going to be here for a few breaths, and you can tuck the pelvis and adjust it as needed. Sometimes it needs a little readjustment in order to fully lengthen the lower back. So the feeling should be that your lower back is dropping. Your butt is falling off <laughs> the rest of your spine, and it should feel like a deep release to your lower back. And the rocking back and forth is kind of a nice way to practice your rhythm, right? Which you will be doing during your, your labor. So rocking back and forth. And then once you find a place that feels good for your lower back, you can pause for a few breaths. And again, your awareness is on the breath and on the baby. Breath is deep, relax the shoulders, relax the jaw.
And you can safely be here for a few minutes, right, if you wanted to. But for the purpose of this video, I just want to run you through a short sequence and then you can kind of pause or use what works for you to keep doing. So a few more breaths here. Otherwise, I'll be here with you all day. <laughs> Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out and then to come out you kind of want to do the same you want to drop your hips down press into the ball to lift your head and then push into the ball with your back and walk your feet in right so if you're on a non-slippery floor or a mat it should be fine okay we're going to come off the ball thank you ball and sit down and you can uh Go into my uh, guided relaxation video if you want to do a guided shavasana. But if not, this is all I have for you today. I hope these exercises have helped you out with your with easing your back pain and your pelvic pain. Um, I I do uh, like to hear from you. So if you have any comments or questions or concerns, please do either drop them in the comments below or you can find uh, my email through my website bblorenzetti.com or birthwithbb.com. The links are below. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope that you continue to look through some other videos and, and please do subscribe. That's the way that you can help me to continue to provide this free content for you. So if you've liked this, please do subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful day.